Welcome to Ginger Eagles Gaming YouTube. Today, guys, we are starting a brand new series just for YouTube through my Plex, the YouTube Q&A. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Plex, it is an amazing mobile app. The direct link to my Plex is below. I have other videos explaining on how to use Plex. But right now, what it is, is anybody can ask me any question, personal, Clash Royale related, anything, you know, within the realm of appropriateness. But it can be a personal question. You ask it in the YouTube Q&A channel right here, right there, and I will answer it weekly, um, and I will post a video. So if you don't know, here is my Plex. Right now, we just hit over 1,800 members. Definitely the place to be, guys. So starting off, let's go into the channel, and uh, let's see what questions everybody has for me. Uh, Ali says, what do you think about CR right now? There is many legendaries in the game, and what's the best tips to be a golem player? Well, as you know, I, I definitely am not afraid to take damage. I, I do take that, take that to the extreme, but the best tips for golem player, or just any kind of beatdown player in general that I could give, is don't be afraid to take some damage. Um, you know, you're not playing a minor chip, you're not playing a cycle, don't be afraid. Sucking that energy, taking that Kameha or the Hadouken, let them take a little damage and bust it out. I think it's the biggest mistake I see when people get into beatdown players who are used to minor and chip. They worry too much about uh, defense. I go, I take that to the extreme, but you know, meet it in the middle. Um, Stride J, Strider App. So what is the best way to trophy push? In my opinion, I mean, one, we do have a deck of ice channel um, in the Plex where you can actually type in decks and see replays of it. Again, see uh, the other videos in the Plex channel series for that. But to answer it purely and honestly, the best way to trophy push is to play a deck style that's right for you. If, you know, you're trying to play, say, you're trying to play beatdown because there's a certain you know meta right now that's just beatdown oriented, right? But you're um, what you enjoy is you know a, a chip cycle deck. Don't try to be something you're not. Most importantly, enjoy yourself, but try to you know play around what the meta is. Don't switch to a different deck style that you really don't like just to get trophies. Enjoy the game. That's just my opinion. Uh, Altar says, what is the state of the game? That's a loaded question. So, I've been playing since day one. So, coming from that perspective, they've done a lot for free-to-play players. And making tournaments standard, like, you have to work a little bit for it, but it's not a money dump anymore. Remember, there was times before challenge modes. There was times before one-time arena deals. There was times before quests. There was times uh, even before tournaments. Um, they've done a lot, especially with, with giving out free chests for different holidays and like 70% deals like the Lunar deal that just happened to help free-to-play players get to tournament standard. And I feel like it's they've done a good job, Supercell, of making it where you have to like either pay a little bit or grind you know, maybe I would say like three months if you were free, free to play. Um, but without diminishing all the work that the OGs, the originals, put into it. Um, I think they found a nice balance. Um, Spartan says, is Clash Royale ladder broken? Personally, I don't think so. Um, and again, you know, I'm 29 and I have a large viewpoint on this. And, you know, if you disagree, you know... I, ask me a question about it for next YouTube video, but uh, you know I played like Hearthstone and I played other card games and whatnot. Clash Royale, even though there might be a meta, certain cards might be a meta for beatdown, minor chip. They switch consistently. Um, so like even if like with the Hut spam deck that recently just happened, if you hated that, well that only lasted for a month like there's a new meta every month um if you play beatdown 
You don't see every beatdown player with a golem. You don't see every beatdown player with a P.E.K.K.A. You don't see every beatdown player with a giant. They do a good job of uh, keeping it fresh, and I know they really try, and they look at, like, Ice Spirit and Skelly's and Goblin Army, or Goblin Gang and Skelly Army. Similar cards that are the same elixir, and they try to get the percentage of use to be about the same. And if, say, Goblin Gang is used way more than Skeleton Army, or Skeleton is used way more than Ice Spirit, they buff or nerf to make it a choice. Um, so I, I do think they're doing well with that. I really, I really would love a 2v2 ladder. Um, even if they were like, hey, we're not going to balance our cards around 2v2, but the 2v2 ladder is more for fun, uh, bragging rights, but we're not balance, like we're not going to balance our cards purely, you know, based on 2v2. I would love to see that. As far as state of the game, you know, they definitely added new modes. Touch on mode showed what you could do, what they could do with the UI, like they could make it wider, go outside the box. I think that something that would really help the game is if you were able to do tournaments and make a tournament that was a sudden death tournament. Make a tournament that was a um, ramp up tournament, a 2v2 tournament. Any of the special challenges that we've seen, if you could make that and just pick a mode in a tournament like you would in a friendly battle, I think that would really um, just spark the game, put a, put a new uh, kindling and fire under it. I think that's really what it needs. Um, it, it has been on a little bit of a decline, but it's it's not going anywhere. And uh, I'm obviously, you see my wins right below. Yeah, I, I love the game. Um... Spartan says, what's better, bats or minions with reason, please? Well, that depends how you play it. Um, like my Gen Drago special deck, I have bats, but also have mirrors. The Gen Drago special too. So if they zap it, I can just fling them out right away. And that, act, that one elixir costs less is more efficient. Um, with the lack of lightning... And poison being the more go-to, or people having more zaps uh, because of the lack of lightning or e-wizzes. I would have to say right now, if you're going generic without any deck reference, I would probably say minions because they would, uh, you know, they would survive an extra hit from an uh, e-wizz or extra, uh, only be half health with the zap. Well, bats would just be done. So if you're trying to counter a graveyard or anything like that, they just zap be done, done, done. Now, once lightning makes its way back and the meta shift from poison, that may be different. But I'm a big fan of bats, but that's just the way I play. Um, it all depends on knowing your card opponent's card cycle. And uh, a great way to see, you know, if you really wanted to go by the numbers, you could just, uh, you know, go to Stats Rile and see what's the percentage of use to zap, to arrows, um, and cards that would kill or easy counter and see if it works for you but I, I i think minions in a general sense but personally bats spartan says what card should get a buff and a nerf well off the top of my head hmm, i feel like i feel like bomb tower tesla Maybe even cannon, especially bomb tower and Tesla. They're 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 never used. Um, How's it going, Monster Castle? But I don't think that direct buffs like to a bomb tower would be efficient. I think indirect nerfs to like indirect buffs. So like making people making say the skeleton army uh, more of a choice than you know making more spawners that are in ground more of a choice than air. Um, but one spell that I really, really, really want to see get a buff and make a comeback is heal. Um, there's potential. Um, maybe even if they did like, a, if you ever played Warcraft, a Divine Priest, you'd be able to shield you and give you extra health for a short amount of time and then heal you. Maybe they just, maybe they could um, math it out to where certain troops you know when you put it down you get like a 
uh, two second bubble that would be equivalent to an archer tower hit and then a healing effect maybe playing around something with the bubble health Aldar says, when do you usually stream? I would love to win some giveaways and help out with YouTube Twitch. Well, I, I have a, a separate video on, uh, you know, I normally been, I normally stream like 50, 60 hours a week. Um, however, the last uh, two months has been a transition with getting used to doing my YouTube, uh, working with some sponsorships. So my streaming time has uh, suffered, but that's going to, that's going to be, I'm going to be back to like 34 hours streaming shortly. I don't have a set stream schedule. I always post on all my social medias when I'm live. And all my social medias are below. Shady Wolf says, any tips for free to play? Yes. Um, one, always have a chest unlocking. Hands down. Save your eight hour chest plus for when you're going to bed. Um, one time arena deals are banked. Those are worth it 100%. Um, I guess it, I guess it technically wouldn't make you free to play, but if you just bought the arena deals, those are bank. Um, one thing that I would highly recommend is always buying an epic chest. Epic chest costs 10,000 gold and you get 20 epics. Uh, when you max out your epics, you get 1,000 gold per epic. So essentially you're paying 10,000, if, if you just factor it in gold wise, you're paying 10,000 gold for 20,000 gold. And you know, me having a lot of max epics is a decent amount of times where I buy an epic chest for 10,000 gold, get all the epics I have maxed on, and get 20,000 gold back in the pocket. So epic chests are always a go-to. Uh, make sure you collect your free daily, uh, you know, every so many hours uh, free gold. Um, and clan chests. If you're in a clan, I can get clan chests max level. Other than that, do your best hit 4,000 and get the free season end chest. And definitely take advantage of all of the special events that you get a free entry to. This is Cheesy from Carl. I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone in the Monster Cat community for being awesome and having such a great passion for music and gaming as I do. Here's Nitro Fun's VIP. Strider app, and I do apologize. Let me know if I'm saying your name wrong. It says, what cards do you hate the most? Top five. Well, being a golem player, it's never a great feeling when you put down a golem at the back of your king and your opponent puts down a peck at the back of his king. Um, not the end all be all, but it's always like this. <sighs> so, Pekka, I, I do not like playing against. Other than that, I, I'm not a fan of Sparky. I, I just never had it in me. I, I know one very good player who's always been awesome with Sparky. Um, as much as I don't like playing it, I also don't like playing against it because you're so not used to playing against it that when somebody plays it, it like throws you off a little bit. Sometimes you can mess up um, just because you're not used to playing against a Sparky. Other than that, more it's just the it's just the Pekka when you see the golem. Oh, and uh, princesses, they've been annoying me lately. I, I, I good card. They're just playing against it with my style. <laughs> uh, Shrey Ash, Shrey Ash says, just blindly cop any of your friends or clanmates' decks and then go for battle. I think you're talking about more my stream on that one, brother. Um, if you have any uh, certain requests, um, definitely you can ask me in stream when I'm live. Uh, but this is more like a Q&A with Plex. Uh, Shay says, how much money will you spend for the game in a month? Now, if you guys don't know, you know, I quit my job at 10 years. Uh, I'm 29, mortgage, I have everything. And I invest in my life savings and everything to making this my career. So right now with tax season being here, um, I'm doing my taxes and if you want to re-ask that for next video, I should have my taxes done by then. And what I can do is give you like a rough average, a monthly average. Because obviously when I started, I spent a lot more money on like, like just mass tournaments and stuff. I had more funds in the beginning. So like I would give you like a monthly average. Um, but I... 
I don't gem chests like directly from the shop unless it's like a 70% deal or something like that. But I do gem chests, I win. So I'll, I'll have I'll I'll give you a, a rough estimate, you know, in the high months to low months once I do my taxes and I'll divide it out um, within a respective to my privacy amount. But uh, I I'm not gonna enjoy looking at that number. But now that I have to with the, with taxes, uh, I'll let you know. Benjamin says the new CC update just dropped, but it seems to have much more issues than the updates used to have. Also, this year they didn't have a tournament in Finland, and that all makes me believe this update was rushed to get out to the public. Um, and he says also the new level 16 troop doesn't glow to show their max stout, so this strengthens the start of a rushed update. I was always the glow. That that could have been an oversight. I just hate to say rushed update just because it's, it's like it's due, you know, in the timeline. I know me personally having max, you know, walls and everything at Town Hall 11, max heroes, I'm like, I'm bored. So now I can do more walls and more things and build a hall 8. I'm happy. Um, I'm not sure what issue you're generally talking about because Clan Games hasn't come out yet with the new update. But them adding clan games with experience and new, you know, new ways to level up your clan and new perks and Builder Hall 8. I, I, I think the update's uh, good so far. I really do. Um, but, I, you know, I just upgraded to 8. So, like, you know how it is when you first uh, Builder Hall or any or Town Hall or anything when you get to a first, you know, the next level. I, I need time to settle in before I can judge balance-wise. But I, I really like it so far i really do the, my only complaint on builder hall is i wish you would be able to spend elixir on walls just like you can on the town hall um as far as uh, no tournament in finland that m may be true but they they could be waiting for the next update i mean those are i imagine those are expensive but if memory serves, there's been a lot of smaller, um, mid-size uh, tournaments that they've been promoting inside Clash of Clans. I'm a big Clash Royale player. I play Clash of Clans. I've been playing it for five years, six years, I don't know, a long time. But I, so I've been playing super close attention to the events. But I've seen some like events where Builder Hall versus Bil Builder Hall and Town Hall, Town Hall, like you know, mid-level events. But I feel like the uh, next, you know, town halls are definitely more important or more um, popular than builder bases, even though I love builder bases. So I feel like the next big tournament would probably be whenever uh, Town Hall 12 comes out um, for Finland. Dragon is a squid. It says, what inspired you to do this career? That's a loaded. These are loaded questions. Tell you what, I'm, I'm going to stop here uh, for uh, video number one, and I'm going to continue with that question on the next YouTube video. Guys, if you don't have my Plex link, um, please uh, check the description below. We have a lot of cool things on our Plex. We said 1,800 members. We have a cool screenshot channel, which is a hoot. YouTube and Twitch promotion, you know, um, once I know you're active, we give you rank to post on there. General chat. Join the clan, land folk. We do $300 a month in giveaways, got polls, uh, Clash Royale, hot topics, tournaments, contest ideas, Clash of Clans, builder decks. It's awesome to join. I'd love to see you there. Um, if you go to any of my social medias or description, you can get a direct link to my Plex. Uh, or if you look below, below, below my Discord here, you have my Plex code there as well. But the direct code will take you right there. Love to see you, and I hope to... Hope to catch some more questions in the next YouTube video, guys. Thank you all for watching. And if you like it, like and subscribe. If you don't like it, like and subscribe and throw the thumbs up. It really shows me. And uh, much love and welcome to the new series, guys. Hope you like it. This will be a weekly uh, series. However, uh, this week, I think I'm going to have to do two, which is great. More questions, the better. Much love. Peace.